My name is Graham Golden, and for 30 years I was a police officer in Scotland. In the last eight years of my policing career, I really started to look at the role of bystanders in the prevention of violence and abuse in society. You know, imagine a world where you not only were able to spot situations, but you were able to respond to a situation. You know, we, we, we see far too many situations, especially involving friends and colleagues, where something's happening and people don't respond because they, they don't know what to do. They're scared. They think somebody else will respond to that situation. They don't know what to say in that situation. Imagine if you had the tools to overcome all of these challenges. What could that mean to victims of violence? Could we stop a friend from doing something that could get them in trouble? Kicked out of university, get them in trouble with the police? This, this session that I'm going to deliver with, with you in the, in, the, in the next few weeks is going to put you into the role as a bystander. We're going to look at issues of gender-based violence. These are difficult issues affecting far too many people in society. We look at the statistics around gender-based and sexual violence, and we often look at the numbers. Behind these numbers are the friends. There are fellow students. There are people we love, people we care about deeply. I want us to start to come together and look at these issues and start to think about how could we respond. You know, the conviction rate for these types of offences is so, so low. But we also know that bystanders often see the lead up to these situations. So come along to this conversation. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to raise your awareness of these issues. Maybe challenge some of your thinking around some of these issues. But importantly, I'm going to inspire you to move from that passive to the active. Don't be a bystander, be a friend is the title of this conversation. A real community focus around how we can come together to send out a message that we care and that we will not tolerate these types of behaviours. So I look forward to meeting some of you on the 20th of November. Come along, I believe it's free, and we'll have a really good conversation. Thank you.